Gilbert. I'm a climate scientist or a postdoctoral research assistant at the University of Reading. My job involves a bunch of different things, but primarily um, it's looking at data and trying to use computer models to understand the atmosphere and how aviation impacts climate change. So I spend my days analysing data, looking at output, uh, talking to my colleagues to understand the kind of scientific questions that we're asking, uh, communicating my findings, writing papers, doing videos, all sorts of different things to explain the results to people. How I got here was a bit of a roundabout route. Um, after I did my GCSEs, I did uh, six AS levels and four A levels, um, foolishly. <laughs> I actually did lots of humanities A levels, so it proves that you don't have to be doing maths and physics to go into uh, environmental science and climate change. Um, after that I went to the University of East Anglia and I studied environmental geography and international development. Um, whilst there I discovered meteorology. I didn't, I'd never heard of meteorology before I went to university and I just got completely hooked. I, I did one module and then changed pretty much my whole degree pathway so that I could do more and more weather science, climate science, meteorology. Did also have to learn degree level calculus so that was a bit of an uphill struggle but <laughs> it is doable. After that I did a Masters in Climate Science and then a PhD at the British Antarctic Survey looking at Antarctic climate change. You can see I'm still um, a big fan of the polar regions. <laughs> um, alongside that I did a lot of freelance journalism work and one of my main passions is communicating on climate change. So I continue to do that through videos, podcasts, writing, all those kinds of things. So why does it matter? That's a really important question. Climate change is going to impact all of us and research is a really fantastic way of contributing if you are kind of academically minded or you just really enjoy research. For me, I feel like one of the main ways I can have an impact on climate change is by doing the research myself but then also communicating it. So talking to people about climate change, talking about what can be done to solve the problem. My best day at work? Wow, that's a good question. Um, I'd say it had to be varied. I find myself getting bored quite a lot if I do the same thing over and over again. So an ideal day at work for me would probably be doing something like trying to analyse some data or solve a problem, maybe with some uh, computer code perhaps, um, and then talking to colleagues about the kind of scientific research questions we're interested in and then perhaps doing something that involves communicating. So I love making little videos or writing podcasts and things like that. So probably a mixture of many different things would be good. I chose this career path because I wanted to make a positive difference. I wanted to do something about climate change that actually contributed to the solutions. And I wanted to use my strengths. I've always been fairly academic and I really enjoy research. I wanted to use my strengths, do something I enjoyed that actually was useful. And I feel like climate research and also then communicating about that climate research is a really helpful way that I can contribute to solving the problem.